Namaskar and also good evening. All dignitaries on the dais, officers, various levels, staff, and also the representative from NDCC. the media. More than, more than sitting in the North Block, meeting delegations coming from the various uh, zones and also having frequent meetings with the Revenue Secretary and CBDT or CBIC Chief planning how we can take the revenue forward, it gives me immense satisfaction to be in places like this where projects for the welfare of our field formations, of our officers are being completed, people are being given their flats, their accommodation to get in, keep their families safe and comfort and get about their work. That gives me greater satisfaction. And therefore, on that score, I'm extremely happy to be here today. One of those rare occasions. One of those rare occasions, which doesn't come very often, where projects are completed in time, completed within the given framework of cost, quality not compromised, and above all, keeping future in mind, also providing for spaces for children, spaces for elders, I appreciate right up front the NBCC for this extraordinary good work. <laughs> Mr. Gupta, you are here. I put on record my appreciation for the work done by you and your team. government organizations or quasi-government organizations during some time in our free India's history have been looked at with a sense of uncertainty, uns being unsure. People thought they were not so capable of completing good quality product projects within time, within cost. But this one example of NBCC doing during the pandemic itself, finding windows of opportunity and completing a project for public cause is actually a exemplar. It sets the record and it proves that government organizations are given the opportunity, right kind of support can excel like the private sector and compete with them. So, big word of appreciation on that. The next observation I'd like to make, and on this, I place on record my appreciation for the former CBIC Chairman Shri Shokumar and also the finance uh, in charge at that time for having put that extra effort to get this project which was languishing as we saw as uh, shown in the timeline money paid, land allotted, but decades had passed he had taken the special effort to take it up, complete it, complete the routine and set it on course just before his retirement and it is only because of such an effort by him and the finance uh, in charge that the ground was ready and the one who comes next, it's fine. he has no excuse to offer but to start the project. And who does it benefit? All of us. So these common cause work which you need to every now and then take up, sweat for it a bit, go from pillar to post to get your government, part of the government, but you, even you will have to go from place to place to get the clearances which is what they have done and which is what Vivek and his team has now taken up. It reassures our own people 
our own officers, our own staff that know the, those in the board, those in the department are not just carrying on with their routine tasks but they are thinking about us, they are doing things for us and you see the light of the day today. So a special word of appreciation to the former CBIC chairman and his team for having taken the initiative to get over decades old problem for the benefit of everybody. And the third, the current team I appreciate led by Revenue Secretary, CBIC, Chairman Vivek Chokri and his team, Sangeeta Sharma, for not just taking care of this project, planning for something else which is bigger in Badala, looking at the CBIC, Palasamudram project, where you are going to have world class facility, and supervising all of them to make sure that they are built in time, built appropriate to quality standards, so that work and work related official occupational facilitation which is just expected of government is all being undertaken and being done. Uh, it, therefore, a word of appreciation to Revenue Secretary and CBIC Vivek Jogri and his team, Sangeeta Sharma and the team there. It, it's actually very satisfying that our staff, our officers are not going to be running from pillar to post looking for accommodation. You can give any amount of money as house rent allowance. But in metropolitan towns like Mumbai, it is not easy. And therefore to ease that side of the, you know, rigor of being a part of the official term, but yet keeping your family safe, this project stands out as a very good example of how human resource can be taken care of and I think I see the message of Nina Lan Kutalia for being the in charge of human resource here attending to this kind of a you know, welfare measure which is so essential. Even as we talk about this Revenue Secretary also referred to, all right, now I've given you the house, get the revenue now, get it at 1.5. I'm not going to do that today. Today, I think you've been given the comfort that you will be taken care of, your requirement for your family will be taken care of. This wasn't given to you a couple of months ago, six months ago, but steadily, every month, each month, you are performing and showing it in the form of revenue collected. So, you don't need to be given any temptations, any carrots. You don't need to be given any kind of incentive or moral support in the sense of words being given for encouragement. You are performing, you keep doing the good work, you are noticed for that. I am very happy that the that the Honourable Prime Minister, and this is not sharing a secret, it was a Council of Ministers meeting wherein officials were present, Revenue Secretary was there, Finance Secretary was there, almost all secretaries to the Government of India were there. The Prime Minister made a special mention of how the economy is sound, how it's growing well, and month after month we are getting GST revenues which were absolutely stunning numbers. Prime Minister made the So you don't require any nudge. You are actually performing and I am sure you will be self-motivated to perform. And it is our duty therefore to take care of you. There is one thing which uh, I would want to say about which uh, I have had a brief uh, conversation with the Revenue Secretary and probably also with uh, Vivek Jodhvi. I have requested uh, that a training be given on better utilization of artificial intelligence, data, deep dive, IoT, so that we are able to use technology to detect where revenue leakages are happening. Where mischief makers or people who are gaming the system are 
playing the system up, claiming the wrong refunds, probably creating shell companies, or even worse, colluding with some rare, off late I can say with confidence, rare black sheep in the system, and as a result of which causing loss to the extra. If only each one of you, and particularly the junior officers, are given adequate training on this, it will be absolutely easy for you to see where evasion is happening, where fraudulent claims are coming from, and how to plug them. So, it was actually felt that this kind of a training given by companies which are serving us already, it will be better. There has been an understanding and uh, which has been discussed with both the Revenue Secretary and the Chairman CBIC. Sooner we will be putting through uh, in different parts of the country such a training so that each one of you all will feel comfortable using technology to assist you to make sure that leakage is plugged. And I'm sure that itself will remove a stress from your job of where this is going, where are the leakages happening and so on. So, without taking more time today, I'm extremely happy, as I said, more, more happy to be here, really seeing such projects coming through for the welfare of the staff than sitting in the North Block and planning for things. That should also be done, but this has also been done periodically so that you have the reassurance that finance ministry is with you, taking care of you and will work with you. All the very best. I'm sure the spirit of the field formations will be high. I will still, along with the Revenue Secretary and the Board Chairman, both of the CBDT and CBIC, going around the country and interacting the next time around, even if it's not giving the key uh, to the houses, I would definitely want to spend some time interacting with the field formations to understand what are the issues and challenges that you are facing. A little aside, more on the score for banter with my chairman and with the revenue secretary. I hope none of you all will mistake. I purposely didn't want my photo on the key which I was handing over. I'd rather be happy for the photo of the occupant to be on it because he can keep it for his life saying this was given to me. I, I lived in that quarters for 4, 5 years, 10 years during my service and I'm back now post-retirement. He can have that as a little memento if, it, if he chooses to have it. So that was my little aside. Uh, no other message there. But thank you very much for having me here today.